Hello everyone. So today we are, we are going to demonstrate function, how we can teach and how we can learn function using GeoGebra. So I'll do basic setting for one more time. So next time I will not be doing this one, but for this time I will do it. So we'll go to default view. We'll go to option and then we'll also make uh, a decimal place. We don't need decimal place like 13 or 14, 12, 13. But we need decimal place up to three decimal place should be fine. So we will just make decimal place up to three point. And we will also, so we'll go to rounding and then click on three decimal places. This is what I prefer. And then we will go to view and then uh, bring the input bar at in the, in, in, in the top so that it will be easier for me to type and for you to be to see it so i will also make the font size so maybe 16 points would be fine so i'll just just jump over the function just write x square is one function let's say x square is one function and we need one slider here we need one slider uh for the for the point so we'll make it dynamic and we'll go to slider this is not slider i guess this one is slider and we will click on any point on the graphics view and we need number slider we don't need angle or integer random this this that we need number slider and let it be a and minimum is minus five maximum five increment should be 0 0.01 should be fine Okay, so I have already got the slider and I will right click this one and then I can also move this one and fix it somewhere so that it will not move every time I, 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 I you now move this graphics view. So I'll just right click over here and then fix it, fix object, check on the fix object and then it will not move. So if I move this one, this graphic view, it will not move because I have already fixed it. So let us define three points. Let us say a equals a equals a comma zero. A equals a comma zero, and b equals b equals uh, sorry a comma f a. F a function value at point A and C equals C should be C should be uh, C should be it can be zero comma F A zero comma F A zero comma zero comma function value at point A and bracket close enter. Okay, now what we will do is we'll join this three point using line segment. And for that purpose, I'll go to line segment and then I will join point A, click on the point A, join in point B, click on point B and to C. So right now what it is happening, what's happening is that, see, we have already made it dynamic. So if I change the value of A, this thing will change. So this one is this, this point is point coordinates on x axis. This point on y axis point C is 0, 0,4, right? So this must be minus 2. So the function is x square. So it will be I'm getting a range over here. 4 is the range. 0 is domain range. And this one is where the where the, where 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 the uh, this functional value touches the curve at the point minus two comma four. Then we minus two comma four. If I make this one zero, what will happen? Let's see what will happen. Okay. Uh, oh, I think 
so difficult to make you. Okay, I got it. So zero C at point zero. Yeah, just one point, right? So all three coordinates are zero, 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 zero. Okay, let's proceed further. Now what I need is I need uh, I'll make this one. First of all, I'll move this slider to so some point. So what I need over here is I also need the coordinate so that I don't have to count it every time. So I need coordinates here for that purpose. I also can get coordinates. I'll just go to object property. And over here, if you see name, so label. So I'll click here and I'll click on name and value. And I will start getting uh, the coordinates. I can also click over here and click name and value. Same goes with C, not only name, but value also, also need value, okay. Okay, now I just, I can make this one bold. Uh, I can make this one bold, but before that, uh, what I will do is, I'll move this point a little bit here, and I can make this bold also. Uh, I'll just go to object properties. I'll just go to object properties, and then if I go to uh, style, point style, not the point style, but this. Okay, maybe you we will do it later. I'll just uh, first of all, I what I did is. First of all, I did one function. I just input one function, x squared, that gives the function. Function is x squared. And then we define three points. We also made one slider that has a minimum of minus five and maximum of five with an increment of 0 0.01. And then we'll define three points on this function. And then this for, for, and then we will just, we just created line segment. We just joined A, B, B, C. Now, now we can also, like if I do animation on, you will get the functional value of minus five to five. See how it is changing. I can also stop from here. Maybe I'll stop some point. Okay, maybe I'm one, two, three. Okay, no, no, no. It is not working or what? Uh, it, is, it will be working. Okay, I stop here. Let me stop over here. Now what I need, what I need is, now I can also check the point maybe, uh, maybe some point, let us say 2.3. If I play 2.3, 2.3, I can get square 2.3 is 5.29. I can also check if it's working or not working. So this function is fx equal to x square. If I input 2.3 over here, so it's square of 2.3 is 5.29. And I'm, I'm also getting the coordinates at the curve and y coordinates and also x coordinates. Now let, let me proceed further. And uh, I need one input box. Let me create one input box over here. And I will just write caption, I will write function. Write function. And I will link with x squared to change the function. You can change the function as well. So I'll write x squared and okay. So now I will record this one. Uh, I don't need this much lengthy input box. Uh, so I have to make it smaller. So that I'll go to start and um, that is function. So maybe 10 should be enough. 10 should be enough. Okay, 10 is enough. And I also need another input box for slider. I just play, I just, I'll, I'll just say input box and slider. I'll call it SLI, sorry, SLIDDR slider. And I will link with this point. This is the slider, right? 2.3. So now I can change this one. 
Uh, mm, let me make it five. It's even better. Five is even better, I guess. So I can also change the color. So if I go here and go to object properties, and then color, maybe this should be pinky pinky. Okay, another maybe let's say I like green. Oh, it's not that visible. Mm, let's go to I think red should be fine. Make it more visible, like. Uh, and then, and next, what I can do is I can make this medium. I can make it medium to one tree and function for the function also. Let us choose one color to make it more attractive, decorative. So go to color and then. This one, and then I will just uh, so I'll go to text and make it medium as well. Make it medium. So I have to, I'll keep it somewhere and fix it somewhere. Uh, so maybe mm, I'll bring it over here and also this one over here. I can fix this one. So now what we can do is we can change the function. We can change the function and also slider from the side the point. Uh, let us fix this one over here. Uh, which one I did? I fixed. Okay, this one. This one I already fixed because I have a check shine here. So now we can change this function. Let's say if I want root over x. I can simply write SQRT, SQRT, and X. I've already got root X, so it will be like this. And I can also change another function, maybe one by X, one by X. I have made it dynamic, right? One by X, one by 2.3. So we'll get a function like this. So we can also change slider, one by zero is fine T, one by zero. Let's see what happened. Okay. Undefined function, right? The curve is like this. The function is undefined. The curve becomes like this. So let us change slider to two, and then let's see what happened. At point two, uh, we're getting two zero point five because the function is one by x, one by two is zero point five. Okay, it is working well. So in this way, we can we can use GeoGebra for teaching and learning function. And we can also do other various things on, on function, like we can also make functional machine. And we will do it later. For now, this much. And, and for, for more videos, please subscribe to my channel and then I will keep you updated. This much for now. Um, I'm going to sign up. Thank you so much for having passion. Thank you.